I'm Troy McClure. You may remember me from such Fox Network specials as Alien Nose Job and five fabulous weeks of the Chevy Chase Show. Tonight we're here to honor America's favorite non-prehistoric cartoon family. The Simpsons began as the brainchild of cartoonist Matt Groening, the already famous creator of such comics as Damnation, Johnny Reb, and True Murder Stories. In 1987, Groening teamed up with award-winning producers James L. Brooks and Sam Simon. And what better place to premiere their creation than on The Tracy Ullman Show, the nation's showcase for psychiatrist jokes and musical comedy numbers. On April 19th, 1987, America first met The Simpsons. Well, good night, son. Um, Dad? Yeah? What is the mind? Is it just a system of impulses, or is it something tangible? Relax. What is mind? No matter. What is matter? Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Good night, son. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Mom. Sweet dreams. Thanks, Mom. Sleep tight. I will, Mom. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bed bugs? Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Sweet dreams. We may be the best parents in the world. Mm. Good night, dear. Good night. All right, climb in. There's nothing to worry about. Now everyone go to sleep. Good night. Exchanging ideas, stories, and laughs, snuggling up, bonding together as only a tightly knit family can. Why, we're more than Dad, a... Dad, you can stop now. Commercial's over and the show's back on. Oh. Oh, yeah. Come on, Bart. Leap into your father's arms. Come on, just like the old days. I'm too big now, Dad. There's no way. Come on, boy. Leap. Do it. a boy. Come on, Bart. <laughs> You call that a leap? Dad, why are we doing this? You've always been afraid of falling on your head ever since you were a little baby. I'm trying to help you overcome that fear. You want me to jump? Because I've always been jumpy. <laughs> That's a good one, son. Always been jumpy. <laughs> Dad, this is really dumb. My head still hurts from the last two times. Let's go, boy. No excuses. I want to see some gumption. Leap, leap, boy. Leap like you'd never, um, leap like you never. What's the past tense of leap? Leapt? Leaped? That doesn't sound right. Well, what do you know? 
leaped and leapt. They're both right. But, Dad... I haven't got all day. Now leap and give it all you've got. Do I have to? Art? I'll get it. <laughs> Good news, son. The boxing gloves have arrived. What a little baby you are. Don't you have any self-respect? You don't see us going around sucking on pacifiers. It's time to grow up, you little runt. What? Another pacifier? You are a depraved little infant. We're just trying to help you. Yeah, help you. Ow! Hey, Maggie, look! Quick, the hot sauce. You can have your dumb pacifier. See if we care. We don't need pacifiers. We're big. We watch TV. We're mature. What? For us? Are you kidding? No way, man. Not bad. Not bad at all. What are you kids doing now? We're having a contest, Mom. What? We're having a burp contest, Mom. Well, knock it off. I do not allow burping in this house. I love Mom, but... <sighs> the show must go on. say about burping? Mm -hmm. I said no burping. And when I say no burping, what do I mean? Mm -hmm. That's right, no burping. I know you won't disappoint me. <coughs> Watch this, the burp champion of the world. <coughs> burp? I mean, Bart, are you burping again? Maybe. What is it with this burping? Why? What's the thrill? It's fun. It's crude. It, it's vulgar. It, it's impolite. And and it's nauseating. That's what I said. It's fun. I'm still the burp champion of the world. <coughs> Bart, meet the new champ. Watch this. <coughs> oh, yeah? How many times do I have to tell you kids? I absolutely forbid burping in this household. How's it going, everybody? Oops, pardon my French. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Good one, Dad. Dinner. Hot meal. Come and get it. Hardy and nutritious, right here. Anyone who doesn't get his or her button here pronto will go without dessert. Hold it, everybody. We forgot to say grace. Hey, that's right. This family could use a little reverence around here. Good drink, good meat. Good God, let's eat. you. There's no need to slurp your soup so loudly. She's right, you little slobs. Let's try a little dignity around here. I don't want to hear any slurping. Right, Mom. Okie dokie, Mom. You know, dinner shouldn't be eaten in silence. This should be a time for communication. That's a good idea, dear. Bart, turn on the TV. On tonight's news, bus plunge kills 43. Freak roller coaster accident decapitated. Children, 
We have some very sad news for you. I think you'd better sit down. Sit down! Children, your elderly Uncle Hubert has passed away. Do you have any questions? Yeah. What does passed away mean? You know, kick the bucket, pull the croak chain, had a meeting with old Mr. Grimm. The fart! The dude died. Would the family care to view the loved one at this time? Oh boy, I've never seen a dead body before. I bet his skin will be all green and clammy and stuff. It'll be just like a zombie movie, only real. Ew. So slow. Steady, boys. Easy there. Whoa! Little to the left. You children are very, very naughty today. Your father and I are quite disappointed in the three of you. This is absolutely the last funeral we ever take you kids to. Look at Maggie. What a little bundle of joy. You can tell what it's thinking by its body language. I think its body language is saying, I want to play. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee, 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 wee. I think its body language is saying, game's over. Look at it, just lying there. I wonder how we look to it. Gooba gooba gaba. You're our little sister. Gooba gaba gooba gaba. One of us, one of us. Just think, Maggie, someday if you're lucky, you'll grow up to be just like us. Do you think a little baby could possibly imagine what its future is going to be like? I wonder if it has any hopes or dreams or fantasies. <laughs> no, man, please be back you. Leave my toes alone. No tickling, no tickling. Help, help, help. Oh, come on, man. Maybe it's thinking how much it loves us. I guess we'll never know. Go for it, Bart. Go out for the long bomb. Okay, Dad. <gasps> Atta boy, Bart. Catch this one and I'll buy you all chocolate milkshakes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 Just don't listen. Come on, Bart. Catch the ball so we can all go out for some frosty chocolate milkshakes. Yeah, Bart. Start running, boy. <gasps> go, Bart, go. Go, Bart, go. Boy. Chocolate go, milkshake, Bart, go. here we come. Go, Bart, go. <laughs> yeah, he caught it. When I said catch, I meant with your hands. <laughs> Well, Bart, you put in a good effort today, so we're all being rewarded. <laughs> good and slurpy. Bart, you're not touching your milkshake. Aren't you hungry? <laughs> well, if you won't drink it, I will. <laughs> One of the most difficult of all human endeavors. The House of Cards. Whew. What you doing? <coughs> really neat, Bart. A pile of... Take it easy. Whatever you do, don't get the jitters. One false move and you're a goner. You're too tense. Relax. You've got to learn to listen to our advice. 
There were so many girls in that movie. This is one small step for a kid, one giant leap for kid kind. Bart! Wake up! Wake up! You did it! Uh, what? Oh, forget it. Hey there, boy. Mom took the girls to the ballet tonight. So it's just you and me, kid. Uh, sure, Dad. So set up the TV trays and let's get started. You want the frozen fish nuggets or the pork <laughs> Well, it's a toss-up, Dad. I got an idea. Let's mix them together smorgasbord style. <laughs> Voila! Fish pork a a la Simpson. Uh, Dad, would it be too late for me to catch a bus to the ballet? Where'd he go? Bart! 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 Here I am. Eat. Yuck, tastes like dog food. Bart! Does eating dog food turn you into a dog? Bart! Well, that answers that question. You're not touching your fish pork nuggets or roni, boy. Whoops! Drop my fork. <laughs> Finished already? Mmm, lick the plate clean. Good, because there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> We're home. The ballet was divine. Oh, it was just a... What's that smell? Oh, look at that. Our own two husky men snuggled together on the couch. Right, Pass right. that bucket of fish, pork, and nuggets are only this way. Come on, man. No nuggified fish porklets. Oh, Isn't no. that sweet? Fresh chocolate chip cookies. Oh, don't touch those yet. They're very, very hot. Aha, no one's around. The perfect crime. I hope I can trust you two not to eat those yummy chocolate chip cookies. Go on, Maggie. Take a cookie. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't be a chicken. Well, if you won't commit the perfect crime, I will. Very good, Maggie. You prevented Bart from making a mess. I mean it. Don't even think about touching those scrumptious cookies. Who's she gonna believe, huh? You or me? You can't defend yourself. You can't even talk. I'll blame it all on you. The perfect crime. Oh, Bart. Do I smell cookies? <gasps> Where's the cookies? They're all gone, the whole batch. Somebody ate those cookies. Did you eat the cookies, Maggie? I think she's trying to tell us something. Go on, Maggie. Go on, Maggie. Go, go. Mm -hmm. There's no perfect crime. How come you're always wearing that hat? Fashion statement, Dad. Take off the hat, boy. Look, he's a beatnik. <gasps> you go get a haircut. Right now. I was afraid this moment would come. Well, what'll it be, Sonny? Just a little off the top, sir. Ah, uh, sure thing. There you go. What do you think? What the hell did you do to my head? Oh, well, that'll be five dollars, please. And here's a sucker. <laughs> Here 
Isn't that boy back from the barber yet? I heard him sneaking around in his bedroom. Bart! Front and center! I'll take it off, but you all gotta promise you won't laugh, okay? Promise? We, we promise. promise. I've got a great idea. Let's play Space Patrol. I'll be Lee Suey, the Devil May Care rocket pilot. Maggie can be Medina, your spunky sidekick. And you'll be... Martron, the evil robot from Mars gone berserk. Mm. I, Lee Suey, see my lovable sidekick Medina in mortal danger of being liquidated by the horrible robot from Mars. Mm. Next time, you will resist your evil ways, Bartron. Calm thyself, Bartron, and tell us where the magic space crystals that can save the galaxy are hidden. Speak American, Bartron. We Earthlings understand not the Martian tongue. Magina has rendered Bartron's anti-gravity belt non-functional. Hail, Magina! Do I understand you correctly, Bartron? Do you wish me to release you from the helmet of evil thoughts with my enchanted space wand? I will do it, Bartron. But who knows what mysterious forces will be unleashed. Oh no. Inside the evil Bartron is a horrible mutant boy. They'll be safe here till Mom and Dad, the evil overlords, get home. Wake up, everybody! It's World War III! Ah! Quick, down to the fallout shelter. The bombs are dropping! Eighteen seconds. Hmm. If this were really a nuclear war, we'd all be dead meat by now. Say, we're all shivering. Are you cold or what? Wake up! Wake up! It's World War III! I mean it this time! No kidding around! <laughs> ah! Here we are. Hmm. Once again, your timing's off. Yeesh. What a bunch of grumps. Wake up, wake up! It's the end of the world! Aw, oh, come on, man! I'm timing you! If we're all fast enough, this will be our last nuclear war drill. If we're quick enough, you'll let us sleep? Let's go, go, go! All right, everybody, back upstairs and into bed. Did we beat the clock? <laughs> no, but you were pretty darn close. Next drill in three hours. Are you sure this is okay, Mom? We'll let him out in the morning. He's your grandpa. Now get in there and talk to him. Gather around, kids, and I'll tell you about the good old days. Oh, man. You know, when I was your age, I had to walk 20 miles just to get to school. And back then, we didn't have pacifiers. We had to suck on pieces of wood. And in my day, we didn't have TV sets. We used to sit on a grandpa's lap all evening and listen politely to his entertaining stories. Was your grandpa a liar, too? No, but his lap was awful slippery. Once upon a time, there was a happy little elf. Can't something bad happen to the elf? The happy little elf hummed a happy little tune. Aw, oh, come on, man. But suddenly, the happy little elf stopped. Why'd the happy little elf stop? Because he realized he was actually a clumsy little elf. Come on, Gramps. Tell us a scary story. You want it scary, eh? That's right, old timer. This is a story of a very... <gasps> you killed Grandpa. No way, man. Society killed Grandpa. Face it, Bart. You're doomed. Uh-oh. Which do you prefer, Bart? The gas chamber? Or the electric chair.
<laughs> I was just pulling your leg. Hallelujah! He's alive! That's what I like to see. Everybody having a good time. Bart? Let's taste that trout already. Where are we? Can the chatter, boy, and get the boat in the water. Uh, whoa. whoa, I'm adrift. I'm adrift. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Boy, for a second there, I thought I was up a creek without a paddle. Dad? Dad? Fetch me a bologna sandwich there, boy. Uh-oh. Don't tell me you forgot to bring the bologna sandwiches. I want my bologna sandwich now. Here you go, sir. What are you staring at? Go on, have a sandwich yourself. I'm not hungry. Mmm, good. I could have sworn we brought more worms. Hey! What? Rapid! Now don't panic. Just keep calm, and we'll zip right through them. Oh, no! Oh, 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 help! That was mildly enjoyable, sir. Sing that little ditty you were singing before, boy. It calms my nerves. Roll, roll, roll your That's boat the gently down the stream. Merrily, ah, merrily, yes. merrily, merrily. <gasps> yeah! Life is but a dream. What you doing, Bart? Skateboarding. Can we come? No way, man. Skateboarding's men's work. Then why are you doing it? Because I am a man, man. Cowabunga! Ah, the breeze, the solitude, the wind whistling through your hair. Go, man, go! Huh? Watch this. Here goes the daredevil skateboard champion of the universe. So long, suckers! Bye, Bart. Bye, Bart. Okay, ready? Get set. Hey, look over there. Go. <laughs> Kids better behave in church today. I don't see why I have to go anyway. I'm a pagan. Bart! I don't want to go to church either. I'm a pagan too. Well, you're going to church so you can like it or lump it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Dad, a tire just blew. Thank you, nature. What a beautiful paganistic day. Come on, Maggie, let's dance. Grab that tire iron, boy. We pagans would like to help you, Homer, but it's against our belief to soil our hands with greasy tools of sin. Lisa, Maggie, knock that nonsense off. It's too late, Dad. What the hell are you talking about? Pagan rain dance works every time. Mom, Dad, look! We're pagans! Why, those little... <laughs> Ironically enough, Bart, this house of worship has proven to be our sanctuary. Yes, but still my pagan soul yearns to roam free. No problem. After the sermon, we'll make a run for it. Bart! Bart! Uh-oh. Chores. The toy chest. The closet. Safe at last. Oh no, it's locked. I'm trapped in here, trapped like a rat. Help! Help! Bart! Uh oh, Dad'll hear me. Help! Help! I gotta get out of this closet. Maggie! Maggie! In here! In the closet! Maggie! Go get help! Maggie, come on, man! Do what I'd do if I were in your place! I can't take it anymore. I've got to get out of this closet. I give up. I'll do chores. Huh? Dear Bart, the family has gone out for frosty chocolate milkshakes. Sorry we couldn't find you. Love, Dad.
close by, kids, and I'll explain everything you need to know about the briny deep. I want to see a giant squid attack a sperm whale and battle to the death. I want to swim free with the fishes. I brought my lucky red swim drum. All right, can the chatter and listen up. Here we have the hideous moray eel. And over here we have the tasty but repulsive sea bass. Yuck! What the hell is that? Bark! Come on in, the water's fine. Boy, you come out of that tank right now. Do some tricks, Bart. Oh. Stop that. It only encourages him. Ah. Dad, you gotta see this. <gasps> Bart should be coming up for air any minute now. Look, I see something. Lucky red swim trunks. Well, the trunks were lucky, even if Bart wasn't. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Bart, come over here. I'd like to accommodate you, Homer, but I'm afraid it's safer in here. Look, Nurse Maggie, a new patient. Oh, I got the hiccups and I got them bad. Oh. Nurse Maggie, begin preparation of the secret hiccup oh. elixir. Milk, ice cream, maple syrup, cream of broccoli, hot sauce. No way, man. Oh. Uh. I knew it. Not enough hot sauce. Climb into the treatment apparatus, please. Confidentially, Nurse Maggie, this treatment has occasional side effects. Oh. Oh. But the side effects are somewhat entertaining, are they not, Nurse Maggie? Oh. I'm stumped, Nurse Maggie. Oh. This is the worst case of hiccups oh. we've ever treated. Uh, uh, That's it! A combination uh, of our previous techniques followed uh, by the scare treatment. It can't uh, miss. Uh, oh! Uh, I pronounce this patient cured. Hey, Mom, can we have an advance on our allowances? No, you can't. Ah, uh, come on, Mom. We're dead broke. I said no. Now, while I'm out shopping, don't get any funny ideas about filching cash from the money jar in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, the money jar. Promise me you'll be honest. I promise. I hereby solemnly swear. Okay, bye. Be good. I wonder if this is wrong. Go on, you have to get the money. Remember your promise, Lisa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maggie! Go for it, dude. Get the moolah. That's right, Bart. Steal the bread, man. What? That's it? A measly butt? Can't even trust your own mother. I've always wanted to introduce you kids to the world of art. It's so enriching. I have an announcement to make. I'm bored. Well, maybe we're all bored, Bart, but we're going to cooperate anyway. Yeah, Bart. Oh, brother. Now, over here, I can rumble. Bart! Whoa, Mama! Bart! Whoa. Now, that's what I call the enriching world of art. Mm -hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> Try for a little dignified behavior. This is the art museum. She's right, you little slob. Now, here we have some exquisite... Lisa! Yeah! <gasps> well, that was close. When do we go home and watch TV? Bart? Careful, Dad. This thing's priceless. The last time I take you kids to the art museum. Don't have a cow, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Why, you little... Now, calm down, Homer. The kids just mm. aren't mature enough yet to appreciate fine art. Au contraire, Mom. We find the world of art quite enriching. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking of becoming a collector. This way to the monkey house, everybody. Can I have a peanut, Dad? Shut up and pay attention. Oh, yes, it was a measly peanut. Don't sass your father, Bart. Yeah, Bart. Now, over here, we have the typical monkey family. Just look at their stupid antics. <laughs> hey, man, I know just how you feel. Here, monkey, 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 monkey. Woo! 
Dad, don't tease the monkeys. Ah, I'm just funning with them. Hey, monkeys, want some peanuts? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> they don't like it, Dad. She's right, Homer. Ah, oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right on, dudes. That's the last time I ever take you kids to the zoo. Calm down, Homer. I've had it with those vile monkeys. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, then where's Bart? I love you guys, but really, I'm stuffed. Thanks anyway. I couldn't eat another. Just think, sitting right here at three generations of Simpsons. What a nightmarish concept. Bart! Homer! What? Leave him be. Yeah, Dad. Lisa! Homer! What? Leave him be. Yeah, Homer. Bart! Homer! What? And the beat goes on. Quit squeaking that toy. Don't shove Maggie. She's just a little baby. Don't hit your little sister. She's a girl. Keep your hands off him, Homer. We can't bicker like this. We're the Simpsons. You know, the little scamp's got a point there. Let's all get together and give each other a big hug. Say, this isn't half bad. Now let's all forgive each other. Lisa, I forgive you. Grandpa, I forgive you. Homer, I forgive you. And I forgive you, Bart. Apology accepted, Homer. I forgive you too if you'd use a breath mint. Are you little? Uh, Homer! Uh, 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 Bart! Get your hand out of that cookie jar. Oh, man. That jar is off limits, Bart. And if I catch you with so much as one cookie. Whoa, I'm scared. Bart! Lay off those cookies. Oh. What's under that bowl, Bart? Nothing. Lift up the bowl, boy. That one. That one? Hey, look over there. What? Oh, nothing. Middle one, middle one. Huh? Oh, well. I guess he's innocent. Huh? Uh, that one. Uh, that one. Then that one. Hey, where's the cookie? Play friendly, children. But we don't want to play friendly. Bark. We want to play rough. Lisa, act like a lady. Yeesh, what a grouch. Come on, Bart, you can punch better than that. Let me try. But you're a mere girl. And you're a sexist pig. Give me the gloves. Your problem is you're not motivated. Do you hear that? What, dear? The punching bag. They're just playing, Homer. I can't sleep with that racket. Go tell them to knock it off. I like the punching bag sound. You go tell them if you don't like it. I said do it. Now move it. Mm. Why, you little... <gasps> Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Homer. Sorry, Homer. Get out of the way, Bart. But... Step aside, boy. But... Bart. <coughs> Let go, Lisa. Don't! It was the night before Christmas, and all through the home, not a creature was stirring, except for me and this poem. My sisters were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of candy bars danced in their heads. Then I sprang like a spring and snuck like a sneak down the stairs to the gifts for just a quick peek. When lo and behold, what did I see? Lisa and Maggie had just beaten me. I poked at my package and said, This is rad, man. Then noticed Dad's shadow. He looked like a madman. Oh, Maggie, oh, Lisa, oh, little Bartholomew, go upstairs, go right now before I kill all of you. And so into bed we fled in a flash, awaiting till morning to open our stash. At last, daybreak came, and we scampered so cheerily, while Mom and Dad yawned and gazed at us wearily. For Maggie, a pacifier. For Lisa, some dolls. For me, a big burp gun which shoots ping-pong balls. 
Then on came the TV and we started to doze through all the exciting Christmas-themed shows. So, to those of you grooving on my holiday wrap, happy Christmas to all and to all a good nap. There and get in a shake, boy. Yeah, Bart. Bart. What? Move it. Hey, this ain't bad. Right there. Beads of sweat. I can dig it. Sit stop. Afternoon, Mr. Chupo. I'm here for my daily candy bar fix. Today, I think I shall have a chocolate cover. The store's closed, kid. Now scram. Hey, you're not Mr. Chupo. I said scram. Wait a minute. I demand the right to be served. Congratulations, boy. You just earned yourself a big reward. All I wanted was a measly candy bar. Here we have Bart Simpson, the young lad who captured the notorious candy store bandit. How does it feel to be a hero, Bart? Pretty damn good, Phil. Your family must be proud of you right now. I bet they're jumping up and down. Yay! Yay! And the $10,000 reward. $10,000! Big one! I love you, son! What are you going to do with all that money? I don't want the money. That's why I've asked for the reward to be paid in candy bars. What will your family think? Ah! Get in there! And clean up that mess. Do we have to? Yep. Why? Because we're the parents and you're the children. Oh, no. This'll take forever. I've got a plan. You guys clean up. And I'll tell you a story. Oh, brother. Once upon a time, there was a planet where the children were the parents and the parents were the children. Get in there! And clean up that mess! Do we have to? Yep. Why? Because we're the children and you're the parents. Oh, no. This'll take forever. I got a plan. You clean up, and I'll tell you a story. Forget it. And then... Bart! If you won't help your <gasps> sisters, then get out there and mow the lawn! How does Bart's story end? Well, everyone live happily ever after. Headed up to here with those kids. Calm down, dear. They're driving me out of my mind. That's why I bought this book on hypnotism. What? I'll hypnotize them. Maybe then we can get some peace and quiet around here. Oh, I don't know, Homer. The kids get kind of rambunctious sometimes, but I think that's A little right. rambunctious. They're bouncing off the wall. I'll hold them. You hypnotize them. Look, children. We have a treat for you. You're going to get hypnotized. Now, look at the watch. You're getting sleepy. 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 Very sleepy. <sniffs> From now on, you will be good little children. It's working. They're not brats anymore. <gasps> good Lord, they're zombies. Oh, boy, that was a doozy. Are you kids okay? Oh, man, where am I? We'll never try to modify your behavior again. Okay, I'm better. Back to normal. Oh, no, no. Fine bunch of kids, aren't they? Homer, look at that watch again. Gotta have those candy bars. But Bart, we don't have any money. There's gotta be a way. You better not be thinking of stealing those candy bars. That's it. Better not, Bart. So long, suckers. They got me. You just sit right there and think about your crying, you dirty little shoplifter thief. Yes, sir. Is he scared? I think I got that kid so scared he can't even see straight. Good. Frighten him some more while I call his parents. Poor Bart. Well, boy, looks like the jig is... I know my rights. You can't hold me if you ain't got no evidence, copper. Uh, is it too late to make a full confession? Your father and I are very disappointed in you, Bart. Gee, I hadn't noticed. Bart! What have you learned from this experience, Bart? Well, Mom, I might have been caught and had a few bad moments there, but I gotta admit, chocolate was delicious. No, 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 Bart. The lesson is, ultimately, crime hurts the criminal. But that's not true, Mom. I got a free ride home, didn't I? Well, here we are. Where, Weenie Barn? Yum. I'll have a couple of jumbo corn dogs, please. No, you little fools. We're at another scenic viewpoint. Oh. Everybody out of the car. Now! Give me that. Great. Now I'll never know what happened. Oh, look, children. This canyon is famous for its echo. Well, what do you know? Let's take turns yelling into the canyon. Lisa, 
You start. Okay. Boring! Lisa! Cool, man. Mark! Whoa! <clears throat> Sunday night bath, boy. Come on. Bart! Huh. Where are you, boy? Uh, oops. Aha! There you go. Now that's not so bad, is it? Scrub good now. Uh, welcome to the exotic world of undersea explorer Bart Simso. Come with Bart as he dives into the briny deep, searching for the wily and elusive washcloth. Suddenly, without warning, the brave boy gets more than he bargained for. Help! Help! Clean as a whistle, Homer. Like savages? Do it outside. Come on, man. Hold out your arms. Oh boy! Jungle supplies! This fun, Barzanga. Right on, we Samba. What the why those little? <laughs> Greetings, Buana. We come in peace. Bart, get me down from here. But then he'll kill us. Hmm. Ah! Lisa, keep an eye on Maggie. Family therapy? What the hell is this? You said we were going out for frosty chocolate milkshakes. Well, I lied. Uh, Simpsons? Welcome. So what brings you to family therapy? Well, Doc, it's like this. They're all driving me crazy. I don't have to do it. my show as an orphan. Lisa! Oh, boy. Mince. Go ahead. Take one. 
We never laugh anymore, Doc. You can say that again. When Homer's right, he's right. For once, the old man's correct to Rooney. Shut up! I'm sensing some deep-seated hostility here. Why don't we all take a deep cleansing breath? Don't you think you've had enough mints, son? I ain't leaving till that bowl's empty. Put those mints back, boy. Ew. Lord, you little slob, you ruined the whole bowl. Don't talk to my brother like that, you big oaf. Oh, why, you little borderline psychotic. Oh, it talks to my daughter like that. Oh, yeah? Now you're going to bully me like you bully your kids? We don't like you, sir. Mm. <gasps> Leave this office, please. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Time for the family portrait. Let's bunch together now. Here we go. Move it! Perfecto. Everybody smile. I'm going to set the automatic timer. Almost ready. Here we go. Let's get this show on the road, man. We got things to do. Yeah, Dad. Okay, here we go. Make room for Jumbo. What do you say? Nothing. All right, everybody. Squeeze in real tight. I want to get us all in the picture this time. Closer. Closer! Okay, hold still. This is the last picture on the roll. Praise the Lord. You watch your mouth, you little smartass. Yeah, Bart. Nothing's gonna ruin this one. The timers are ticking. Bart's making faces, Dad. Bart! This one is gonna be the Simpsons at our finest. Smile, look cheerful. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Why, you little... We put all the craziness behind us. And now it's time to get back to what matters. The show. And the Sunday comic strip. Which Homer writes himself. So you know it's great. Well, you little duck. So, whether choking their son or poking some fun, the Simpsons will keep on gagging for years to come. I can't believe it. We won another contest. The Simpsons are going to Delaware. I want to see Wilmington. I want to visit a screen door factory. This will be the last season. Yes, the Simpsons have come a long way since an old drunk made humans out of his rabbit characters to pay off his gambling debts. Who knows what adventures they'll have between now and the time the show becomes unprofitable. Omen Shorts, Christmas Show, Marge's Fling, Homer's Bro, Bardenwell, Flanders Fails, Whacking Snakes, Monorail, Mr. Plow, Homer's Face, Sideshow Bob, Steps on Rakes, Lisa's Future, Selma's Hobby, Marge Not Proud, Homer Chubby, Homer Worries, Bart is Gay, Fuji U2, NRA, Hippies Vegas and Japan, Octuplets and Bart's Boy Band, Marge Murmurs, Mord Croaks, Lisa Buddhist, Homer Tokes, Maggie Bows, Burns Away, What else do I have to say? They'll never stop the Simpsons. Have no fears, we've got stories for years Like, Marge becomes a robot Maybe Mo gets a cell phone Has Bart ever owned a bear? Or how about a crazy wedding Where something happens and do-do-do-do-do Sorry for the clip show Have no fears, we've got stories for years 